Okay, so this is limits of exponential and log functions. So the graph of e to the x, if you don't know it, we can, it's a pretty easy graph. You plug in zero, you get e to the zero is one. So you plug in zero, you get e to the zero is one. You plug in positive numbers, e to the one, e to the two, e to the three, it goes up pretty quickly. And then we can see if we plug in negative numbers, you get fractions, reciprocals, which tend to zero pretty quickly too. So we can see here, So with this picture, the limits come pretty easy. You can see the graph does something different on each end. So as x is approaching negative infinity, we can see the y value is approaching zero. And this one, as x is approaching infinity, it's going to positive infinity. Now the inverse, Logs and exponentials are inverses of each other. So right off the bat, we know the domain and range are exchanged. Domain is the range, and the range is the domain. Also, an asymptote at y equals zero makes an asymptote at x equals zero. So down here, instead of here, it's here. At this point here is zero, one. This is one, zero, x and y exchanged. So now we can see here, it's positive infinity. And we don't have negative infinity. The left limit will have to be zero to the right. Okay, so let's do some examples. So when you plug in infinity, we do get infinity on top. Infinity on the bottom, you can see here, e to the infinity will be infinity plus one. So this is indeterminate, just like zero over zero. So we have a little bit of work to do. Since this is going to infinity, we can use our rule. Let's divide top and bottom by the power in the denominator. So let's divide top and bottom by one over e to the x and distribute. It looks like they get switched because that cancels, you get one and so forth. I think we can see here that when you plug in infinity, e to the, one over infinity, that's going to go to zero. Same with this. So that's going to be the limit. No, it's actually going to be one plus zero, one minus zero, which is one. Let's do another one. Same problem, but we're going to negative infinity. Let me change that. Again, don't forget to plug it in first. So negative infinity. Hmm. Remember the limit of this, that graph. So that's zero equals minus one. Um, just to remind you, look if you just look at it algebraically, you're actually plugging negative a very negative big number, e to the minus infinity. It's so 1 over e to the infinity, which is going to be the same as 1 over infinity, which is 0. So this is just the concept that you're doing. I mean, it's not, you're actually not dividing by infinity, but a very large number, and it approaches 0. So it should be approaches. A couple more things. I do want us to write out the properties as a review. So we'll need these in the coming up chapters. We have two numbers, the same base being multiplied. You can add the exponents. When you're dividing, you subtract. Power raised to power, you multiply. A couple other little properties. Base E is natural log. Base 10 is just our, this is the natural log. This is the common log. And to convert, so it's b to that power is equal to a, the argument. So basically, y is the power. It's an exponent. We have three properties here. And this is multiply, where you add. Kind of the op same as this property. When you multiply, you add the exponents. These are exponents. You add the exponents, you add the logs.
divide, you subtract. And if I have power to power, the p is to the x, we can bring that p power in the front, we multiply. I have one more example. Okay, so we want to find this limit using the u sub, since we do have this 1 over x here. So we're going to convert it from x's to u's. That's going to be e to the u. That's simple enough. But we need to figure out what this u is, because we need to switch. So we take our sub, and as x goes 0 from the left, u goes to where? That's what that answer is. A graph sometimes helps. So here's the graph. And this is 0 from the left. So here's 0 from the left. We can see is negative infinity. So this is negative infinity. Like I said, it's going to negative infinity there. So now it's e to the negative infinity, which is 0. Now we're looking at this graph which is 0, negative infinity. Again, plug in negative infinity. It's e to the negative infinity, 1 over infinity. 1 over a big number is 0. Okay, thanks again for watching.